N-400 Interview U.S. Citizenship Test 2022 New Version Number 3 Number C-11 Mr. Duncan Cattle Hi, that's me. Hi, I'm Immigration Officer Lauren. I'm assigned for your U.S. Citizenship Interview today. How are you doing? Hello, Officer. I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm good, thank you. Please follow me. Okay. Please put all of your belongings besides your chair. Before we start the interview, I will need to put you under oath. Please remain standing and raise your right hand. Okay. Remain standing and raise right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Lower your hand and have a seat, please. Thank you. The weather was bad today. There was no problem on your way here, right? It was very stormy. Fortunately, I was not late. That's good. So, are you well prepared for your interview? Yes, I have been preparing. Great. Do you have any questions before we start? Yes. Just today, I got a traffic ticket. Does this affect my naturalization? What happened? The weather was bad today, and I was worried about being late. So I ran a red light, and the police issued me a $70 ticket. Do you have any other traffic tickets? No. This does not affect your naturalization. Please be careful when driving. All right, let's start. Okay. May I please have your green card, your state-issued ID, and all your passports? Yes, here they are. Why do you want to be a U.S. citizen? I support the American form of government and I want to vote. Can you explain how you are eligible to become a U.S. citizen? I'm 28 years old and I have been a lawful permanent resident of the United States for three years. Please tell me how you received your green card. My wife sponsored me. My wife is a U.S. citizen. What date did you get your green card? October 15th, 2018. What is your full name on your permanent resident card? Duncan Cattle. Do you have a middle name? No. Have you used any other names since birth, such as nicknames? No. Would you like to legally change your name? No. Please verify your social security number. 899-345678 What's your date of birth? April 7th, 1993. What is your daytime phone number if we need to contact you? 571-345-6789. And what's your email address? Duncan567 at gmail.com. Where do you live now? 8602 14th Street. Santa Rosa, California, 33999. Have you moved since you applied for citizenship? No. Where do you receive mail? My mailing address is the same as my living address. Are you currently employed? Yes. What kind of work do you do? I'm a computer programmer. Okay, did your parents get married before you turned 18 years old? 
Yes. And are they U.S. citizens? No. What is your current marital status? I'm married. What is your current wife's name? Alice Robinson. And her date of birth? June 30th, 1993. Is your wife a U.S. citizen? Yes, she was born in the United States. What date did you get married? February 12th, 2018. How many times have you been married? One time. Has your wife ever had a previous marriage? No. How did you meet your wife? We are co-workers. Where did you get married? Santa Rosa, California. When did you get married? February 12th, 2018. Did you bring your marriage certificate with you? Yes, here it is. Have you been living with your wife since you married? Yes. Do you have a common bank account? Yes. Are you and your wife taxed jointly or separately? We are taxed jointly. Did you bring your tax return transcripts with you? Yes. Here are our tax return transcripts from the past three years. Okay, have you taken any trips outside of the United States in the past three years? Yes, I took one trip. Where did you go? Ireland. What was the reason for your trip? I visited my parents. When did you leave? When did you return? I left America on March 5th, 2019. I returned on March 20th, 2019. Do you have any children? No. What about any stepchildren or adopted children? No, I don't have any children. All right. Now we'll proceed to the next portion. Okay. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever registered to vote in the United States? No. What does vote mean? To choose a new leader or elect a president. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Have you ever been a member of any gang in any location in the world? No. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated with the Communist Party? No. What about any other totalitarian party or terrorist organization? No. Could you explain to me what the Communist Party is? They control government and people don't have any freedom. Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No. Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. Have you ever been involved in any way with genocide? No. Do you understand what genocide means? It is when lots of people are killed because of their religion or race. 
Were you ever involved in any way with torture? No. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in a military unit? No. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in a prison camp? No. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in a labor camp? No. What is the definition of labor camp? A place where people are forced to work. Were you ever a part of any group, or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? No. Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? No. Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? No. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. What does it mean to commit a crime? To do something illegal or break the law. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No. Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? Yes. Did you register for the Selective Service? Yes, I registered. Please provide the documents containing your date registered and your Selective Service number. Okay, here they are. Great. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. What is an oath of allegiance to the United States? A promise to be loyal to the United States. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. What is the definition of bear arms? Use a weapon to fight and defend America. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. Do you promise that everything you said is true? Yes, I promise. We will proceed to the civics test. Let's start. Okay. Name one right only for United States citizens. Voting in a federal election. Correct. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. James Madison. Perfect. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. Correct. In what month do we vote for president? November. 
Good. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Free the slaves. Correct. Name one U.S. territory. Guam. Perfect. You got six correct. You passed the civics test. Now let's proceed to the reading and writing tests. Okay, thank you. First, read the sentence on the tablet in front of you, please. Who was the second president? Correct. Now I am going to read you a sentence. Please write the sentence down on the tablet for me. Okay. Adams was the second president. Adams was the second president. Excellent. You passed the English reading and writing test. You've met all of the requirements, so congratulations. You passed the interview. Thank you. I'm very happy. Please look at the application to make sure everything is correct. If it is correct, please sign and date here. Everything is correct. I signed and dated. Now I will submit your application for approval. Here are your documents and a copy of your interview results. If there are no other issues, you'll get a USCIS notice form in the mail regarding your oath ceremony date. Thank you. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you and good luck. Please subscribe for more.